today's video, we're going to do a breakdown of what I like to call the roundabout incident. So let's watch the whole video and then let's break it down. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's go back. There's a couple things I want to point out. So first, pay attention to the signs as we're approaching this roundabout. Yellow roundabout sign, 15 miles an hour. Zoom in on the computer. It knows a roundabout's coming. We're still in a 25 mile an hour zone. Look at this yield sign and memorize it. I'm gonna show you the yield sign from the other direction. This one says yield to the left. Oh no. We're gonna turn around and come back in the roundabout from the other direction. First, let's just watch what happens when I come back through the other direction. So I wound up intervening. There were vehicles to my left and it looked like it was going to pause. So let's replay that and I want to take a look at the sign. Look at this sign. It's a clear roundabout sign, different than the one from the other direction. But ultimately, does the computer care about either of them? Is this an easy fix? Did Tesla mess up here? These signs seem like they should be the same on both sides. So I don't know why they're not, but is this something that Tesla should have picked up and put in the software? I mean, driving over a roundabout can't be the right thing to do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Appreciate you guys. Until next time.